what is up you guys i'm going to be reading some 40 days to complete god confidence in this video 40 days to complete god confidence by suji Suzy, Suzy, Suzy schellenberger This is a good book. I've read it. I've read most of it back in like 2019. I don't know if you can see that, but these are other books that she has uh, that she's written before. Day one, who is God? God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. It's hard to be confident about someone we don't know. So the first step in becoming confident in God is getting to know him. Be assured from the above scripture that God isn't wishy-washy or deceitful. He is trustworthy. The more we trust someone, the more confidence we have in that person. God is your creator. You can relax knowing he understands how you're wired because he did the wiring. He knows about the aches and pains and he gets it that sometimes you just need to stay in bed a little longer. God is your defender. When you're facing opposition, know that he has your back and will handle your enemies. What's your responsibility? To rest in his peace. Need guidance? He is your lamp. He will light the pathway before you so you won't stumble through the dark areas of life. When you need to hide from the world, let out a huge sigh and simply rest in his arms. God is a God of love. Love defines him. He willingly died for your sins. There is absolutely nothing you can do that will make him stop loving you. He will always love you. Again, it's who he is. There's also nothing you can do that will make God love you any more than he does right now. He loves you intimately, ultimately, supremely. There is no earning it and there is no deserving it. None of us will ever measure up to it. But we can thank him for his supreme love by obeying him. Living a life of obedience to God delights him. God is also forever. That means you don't need to worry about him leaving, de uh, leaving dying, or moving. You can count on him. He is righteous. And one who is righteous is trustworthy, dependable, and loyal. He is not going to leave you. Need grace? We all do, and God is, uh, is full of it. He, he is gracious. What exactly is grace? It's favor, goodwill, and blessing. God de uh, delights in giving you grace, but it doesn't stop there. He, also, he's, he is also merciful. Mercy is undeserved grace. It is the policeman who writes you a warning instead of a ticket, even though you were speeding. Mercy is the judge who puts you on probation instead of behind bars, even though you're guilty. Mercy is God forgiving your sins and even sending his son to pay the penalty for you. What a God. And as you get to know him intimately, you will become confident and rock solid in a relationship, your relationship with him. So let's talk about getting to know God intimately. Have you realized that he wants to be your salvation? Here's the proof. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 2. Someone who is willing to die for you is certainly someone you can be confident in. Fact, if you were the only person on the entire earth, God would still God still would have sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins. That's love. That's a God in whom you can have complete confidence. 
Christ died on the cross for you so you could experience salvation, forgiveness for your sins. That's right. You were born with sin, but you're not the only one. The Bible says that all of us have sinned. We've all fallen short of God's perfect standard. Problem, God is perfect and his kingdom is perfect. He loves his children, but he can't allow sin to exist in heaven. He could force us to seek forgiveness for our sins, but that wouldn't be true love. God is not a puppeteer. He has no interest in controlling your decisions. He wants you to follow him because you love him. God demonstrated his love for us while we were still sinners. He didn't wait until we got our act together. We were steeped in sin. His son willingly went to the cross so that we could experience salvation, forgiveness for our sins. Christ was a perfect sacrifice. He had never sinned. He was pure, yet he took on our sins as his own so we could experience forgiveness from God. What a gift. But the gift isn't ours until we actually accept it. How do we do that? It begins with a prayer. Right now, at the very beginning of this book, while you're, you're yearning to develop complete God confidence, is the perfect time to begin a, a relationship with God. Please remember that knowing about God is not the same, obviously, it is not the same as having a genuine, in-depth, growing relationship with Him. If you'd like to experience salvation, having your sins forgiven, you can pray this prayer. These are not magic words. You can rewrite this and use your own words, but if you pray and truly mean it with all your heart, you have to mean this with all your heart, with everything you have, complete sincerity of your heart. Salvation is yours. Dear Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and that you willingly died for my sins. This is mind-boggling. I am so sorry that I've disobeyed you and have tried to turn, tried to run my own life. I understand that you want to guide me and help me live in obedience to you. Will you forgive me, Jesus? Right now, I'm choosing to place my faith in you. I commit my life to you. Thank you so much for granting me salvation right now. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins. I love you, Jesus. I'm excited about living the rest of my life for you. Amen. Wow, you guys, that is just... That is just awesome. So for the next 40 days, I tried my best... Well, Technically, in the next 39 days, I'll try my best to read each chapter of this book. Again, it's called 40 Days to Complete God Confidence. It's a good book. It's got people's testimonies in it, how they became like close to God, closer to God, and how they, you know we're able to have confidence in God. So it's a good book. Hope you guys enjoy.